Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering the IELTS exam and beyond. Today, we're diving into one of the most crucial parts of the IELTS test, the speaking section. In this video, we'll cover valuable tips and common questions you might encounter in each task of the IELTS speaking test. So, whether you're aiming for a band 7 or higher, this video will give you the strategies you need to succeed. Let's get started. Section 1. Overview of the IELTS Speaking Test First, let's quickly go over the structure of the IELTS Speaking Test. The test is divided into three parts, each designed to assess different aspects of your speaking ability. Part 1 is the introduction and interview, where the examiner will ask you general questions about yourself, your hobbies, and your interests. Part 2 is the long turn, where you will be given a topic and asked to speak about it for one to two minutes. Part 3 is the discussion, where the examiner will ask you more in-depth questions related to the topic from Part 2. Now, let's dive into each part in detail. Section 2, Part 1, Introduction and Interview. In Part 1, the examiner will ask you basic questions about your life. This part is designed to make you feel comfortable, so think of it as a warm-up. However, your responses still matter, so make sure you're clear and concise. Tip 1. Speak naturally and fluently. Don't overthink your answers. The key here is fluency. The examiner is looking for smooth, natural conversation, not perfect grammar. Try to expand your answers by adding details. For example, if you're asked where you live, don't just say, I live in London. Instead, you could say, I live in London, a large and diverse city, and I really enjoy its vibrant culture and historical landmarks. Common questions. Can you tell me about your hometown? What do you do for work or study? What do you like to do in your free time? What kind of music do you enjoy? Do you prefer living in a city or the countryside? Remember, the aim here is to show your ability to engage in everyday conversation. So relax and give full, well-rounded answers. Section three, part two, the long turn. Part two is often the most challenging for test takers because you need to speak continuously for up to two minutes. You'll be given a cue card with a topic and you'll have one minute to prepare your answer. Tip one, organize your thoughts with the structure. During your preparation minute, quickly outline your response. Focus on organizing your answer into three parts, an introduction, some details or examples, and a conclusion. This will help you keep your ideas flowing smoothly. Tip two, use linking words. Linking words like firstly, on the other hand, in addition, and for example, will make your speech more coherent. They help guide the listener through your points, which is key to impressing the examiner. Common questions. Describe a person who has influenced you. Talk about a hobby you enjoy. Describe a memorable trip you've taken. Describe an important decision you made in your life. Talk about a time when you faced a challenge. The key in part two is to stay focused on the topic and try to speak for the full two minutes. If you run out of ideas, use examples or personal experiences to extend your answer. Section four, part three, the discussion. In part three, the examiner will ask you more complex questions related to the topic you discussed in part two. This is your chance to show your ability to discuss abstract ideas and opinions. Tip one, give in-depth answers. The questions in part three will require you to analyze, compare, and evaluate. So, instead of just answering yes or no, explain your reasoning. The examiner wants to see your ability to expand on ideas. Tip two, support your opinions. Whenever you express an opinion, back it up with reasons or examples. For example, if asked, do you think people spend too much time on technology nowadays? You could say, yes, I believe many people are overly reliant on technology. For instance, we often see individuals glued to their phones, even during social gatherings, which limits face-to-face -face communication. Common questions. Why do you think some people find it difficult to change jobs? What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a big city? How has technology impacted education in recent years? Do you think governments should invest more in public transportation? How do you think cultural traditions are changing in the modern world? This part of the test is about showcasing your ability to think critically and communicate complex ideas. Don't be afraid to express your opinions as long as you can support them. Section five, 
General Tips for the IELTS Speaking Test Before we wrap up, here are some general tips to help you excel in all parts of the IELTS Speaking Test. Tip 1. Practice speaking regularly. The more you practice speaking English, the more confident you'll feel. Try practicing with a friend or recording yourself answering common questions. This will help you get used to speaking for extended periods. Tip 2. Don't worry about mistakes. It's natural to make a few mistakes during the test. The key is to stay calm and keep going. If you make a mistake, correct yourself and continue. The examiner is looking for fluency, not perfection. Tip 3. Stay relaxed and confident. Remember, the IELTS speaking test is designed to assess your ability to communicate, not to trip you up. Take a deep breath, stay confident, and treat the test as a normal conversation. Tip 4. Use a range of vocabulary. Try to use a variety of vocabulary, especially when answering more abstract questions in Part 3. Avoid repeating the same words or phrases and show the examiner that you have a broad understanding of English vocabulary. Section 6. Key Takeaways To summarize, the IELTS speaking test is all about demonstrating your ability to communicate clearly and effectively in English. In Part 1, focus on giving clear answers about yourself. In Part 2, organize your thoughts and speak for the full two minutes. And in Part 3, give in-depth responses supported by examples and explanations. Thank you for watching this in-depth guide to the IELTS speaking test. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Explified for more IELTS preparation videos. Share your experience with the IELTS speaking test in the comments below, and let us know if you have any questions. Good luck, and we'll see you next time.